Now this question says an amount becomes rupees 12,000 after 3 years and rupees 18,000 after 6 years at compound interest. Find principal amount. Alright, so let's say the principal amount is P. After 3 years the amount should be P3. After 6 years the amount should be P6. I hope you can see that the gap from P to P3 is 3 years. From P3 to P6 is also 3 years. So if the gap is the same, we can apply this property that the ratios are going to be constant, right? So that means P upon P3 should be equal to P3 upon P6. See, the only thing that you need to check is whether the periods are same or not. If the amounts are at the same gap, same period, the ratios will remain constant. And in your questions, it will it is bound to happen like that because otherwise it will become too lengthy for a calculation. You will not be asked such questions. You will be asked only this type of questions where the gaps are same. Here P3 is already given that is 12,000 rupees. P6 is already given 18,000 rupees. Just put them there, find the value of P. Alright, so it is uh, P divided by 12,000 equal to 12,000 divided by 18,000. Wow. So 18,000, 0, 0 cancel. 6, 2s are 12, 6, 3s are 18. 3 cancel 12,000, 4,000. So P is equal to 4,000 into 2. This goes to the other side. So 4,000 into 2 is 8,000 rupees. That means the principal amount in this case is 8,000. Right? So that is our answer of the question. I will add one more thing. Also find, find amount, also find amount after 9 years. Let's see can we, if we can do that. What will happen? P6 to P9, it is 3 years more. That means this P upon P3 is equal to P3 upon P6 is equal to P6 upon P9. Right? So, here P3 upon P6 is already 2 by 3. Right? P3 upon P6, we can use this one and we can calculate the value of P9 like this. P3 is 12,000. P6 is 18,000. Is equal to P6 is 18,000 divided by P9. So, we can calculate P9 from here. Let's see. 6 3s are 18. 6 2s are 12. 2 cancels 18, 9,000. So, P9 cross multiplication will give us 3 into 9,000 that is 27. So, as long as the amounts are at the same gap, right, you can directly apply the ratio method or, or this formula for this question. Alright, so here the gaps are 3 years, 3 years, 3 years. As long as is there any other question, let's say if it is uh, find the amount after 12 years, you can go on doing that. It will be difficult to calculate amount after 8 years or 7 years or 4 years, but you will not be asked those questions. Remember that. Okay, that's it. So, this is how. This, these questions are really, really beautiful. Now, let's take this question. It says an amount becomes rupees 4000 after 3 years and rupees 5000 after 4 years at compound interest. Find rate of annual compound interest. If you remember, we have done it in the very beginning of compound interest that the amounts also increase at the same rate. Do you remember that? Let's say I had given up you a rule that for nth year, if the amount is P and for n plus 1th year, if the amount is n plus 1, P n plus 1, then from year to year, the change has to be R percent, right? So, in this case, I have given me the amount after 3 years, so that is P3 and amount are given after 4 years, so consecutive years, that means the increment has to be R percent from year to year. So, whatever percentage change has happened from P3 to P4 has to be the rate of interest. Alright, so this, this question will always be asked for two consecutive years. You read the question carefully. It must say the amount becomes so and so and so and so. So here P3 is 4000, amount after 3 years is 4000 rupees, amount after 4 years is 5000 rupees. So what is the value change? The value change is 1000 rupees. You have to calculate what percentage of 4000 is this 1000 rupees, right? So, rate percentage is equal to 1000 divided by 4000 into 100. Always remember you can do this only if there is a gap of one year. Right? Only if the amounts given for are given for consecutive years. So, it becomes 1 by 4 into 100 that is 25 percent. Right? Again, you will be asked only such situations where, you know, it's like 6 years and 7 years or 8 years and 9 years. In any case, whatever is the situation, it has to be two consecutive years. Then directly, whatever is the percentage change from the lower year to the higher year, right? If, it is, if the gap is of one year, the percentage change is the rate percentage. 
you have to directly memorize this all right now let's take another question on this now this question says the compound interest for the fifth year is 600 rupees and for the sixth year is 680 rupees the way we have rule for uh, principal amounts similarly we have the rule for compound interest values also if we are given with the nth your compound interest and ci n plus 1 n plus 1 is your compound interest again we can say that whatever is the percentage change from year to year is r percent right so compound interest also increase at the same rate right so here it is given that ci 5 is 600 rupees please understand it is the interest only for the fifth year it is not the interest for five years okay ci 6 that is interest for the sixth year that is given as 680 rupees so i repeat whatever is the percentage change from year to year it is r percent it is the rate percent right and we have to find the rate okay so directly apply this what is the value change it is 680 minus 69 that is 80 rupees is the value change so the percentage change is equal to the r percent value and it will be equal to the value change divided by initial value 600 we have to calculate what percentage of 600 is 80 so 80 upon 600 into 100 right so if you simplify 0 0 cancels it is 40 by 3 percent 40 by 3 percent is actually 13 1 by 3 percent or 13.33 percent look at the options whichever is there you have to mark right so this was one very beautiful uh, direct application i repeat if the compound interest value for consecutive years only for those years are given this will be the situation you can directly find the percentage change from one year interest with second year interest the, to the next year interest that percentage change will be the rate percentage all right i'll make this question a little more complicated let's take another one now look at this question this is a very tricky situation it says the compound interest for the first three years is 480 rupees for the entire first three years so it is not the compound interest for the third year it is total three years right compound interest for the first four years is rupees 5, 520 so in the total period of four, four years the compound interest is 520 so in in this language if i want to put it then this 480 is actually first year compound interest plus second year compound interest plus third year compound interest this 520 is equal to first year compound interest plus second year compound interest plus third year compound interest plus fourth year compound interest and similarly this 568 is the total interest for five years so 568 is equal to compound interest for the first year compound interest for the second year compound interest for the third year compound interest for the fourth year and compound interest for the fifth year please try and understand just to make sure that you understand it very clearly i have written all this we don't need to write this you know this much logic we can directly apply okay now let's see your first three year interest is 480 so here also the first three year interest is going to be 480 so the fourth year interest i'll put it like this ci4 will be 520 minus 480 we can put 480 here so it is 520 minus 480 which is equal to 40 rupees so we have fourth year interest as 40 rupees now if you look at this first four year interest is 520 and that means here also the first four year interest will be 520 so if we put it here we'll get ci5 that is only the fifth year interest and that will be 568 minus 520 so 568 minus 520 that is equal to 48 rupees oh so that means we have got the compound interest value for cons consecutive individual years so fourth year compound interest is 40 rupees fifth year compound interest is 48 rupees whatever is the percentage change from 40 to 48 has to be the rate percentage right what is the value change from 40 to 48 it is 8 rupees 8 over 40 is the rate so rate percentage will be equal to 8 divided by 40 into 100 right that is a normal percentage situation so 8 cancels 45 times 5 cancels 120 times so it is 20 percent is the rate in this case so this was a really good question all right